Hello everyone, this is Sangeetha, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Kamadeno Arts and Science College, Satya Mangalam. In this presentation, today we are going to see noun and its types. Let us begin this slide, the definition of noun. So, noun, noun are called naming words. So, noun are words referring names of a person, place, animals, things and ideas. In the below, I have given you examples for this one. For example, of a person, Elisa, Ali, Man, for place, college, OT, market. These are example for places things book pen cupboard for animals cow cat dog idea happiness and excitement these are the examples for the noun that is referring names of a person place and animals and things now let us see the types of noun so there are eight types of noun first one proper noun common noun abstract noun concrete noun collective noun compound noun and then countable and uncountable these are eight types of noun let us see by one by one first one is proper noun proper noun is nothing but it refers the name of a particular specific person place or things for example i have given you a girl her name is elisa tower evil tower dog we have a lot of uh, dogs but we are given a name for them like puppy brownie and then one with oreo biscuit it is a biscuit is a uh, we have a lot of biscuit but we have a given a name as oreo so a particular specific person or a thing is known as proper noun now let us see common noun a name of any common person place or thing is called as common noun for example school tree and boy if i give a name to a boy it is proper noun it is called scow now it is a common as boy next we are going to see abstract noun abstract noun is a name of something that you cannot see here touch smell or feel for example anger love unkindness these things we cannot able to see so this is called abstract noun now let us see concrete noun so concrete noun is this is opposite to abstract noun a name of something that you can able to see hear taste smell or touch for example i have given you chat chat we can able to see drumstone we can able to hear it milkshake we can able to taste Jasmine plant, we can able to smell. So book, we can able to touch. So the things which we can able to see, hear, taste, smell or touch is called as concrete noun. Now let us see collective noun. A name, a noun that is used to represent a group of people, animals or objects are called as collective noun. For example, bunch of flowers. It consists of a collection of flowers. A pack of cards, a swarm of beans. These are called as collective noun. Next one, compound noun. A compound noun is nothing but it is made up of more than one word. It is called as compound word. For example, black plus board, black board. Sun plus flower, sun flower. Note plus book, notebook. Tea plus foot, seafood. Snow plus ball, snowball. So a noun which is made up of one more than one word is called as compound noun. Next one, countable. Anything that can be counted is called as countable noun. In the example, I have given you apple. How many apples are there? There are only one apple. So, how many balls are there? Two balls. We can able to count it. The third image, I have given you a pencil. How many pencils? One, two, three, four, five. So, five pencils. The, the, anything that can be counted is called countable noun. Next one, uncountable noun. As anything that cannot be counted is called as uncountable noun. For example, water, rice, sand. These are called as uncountable noun. Next one, let me give you a differentiation between common and proper noun. For example, dog. Its name is Brownie. River. It's a common. I have given a name as Kaveri. Country. Eh? India. Mobile. Apple. Language. English. Tamil. These are the proper nouns. Next word, countable. Uh, abstract and concrete. Happiness. Book. Abstract that we cannot able to see, hear or touch is abstract noun. So happiness, knowledge, love, soul, peace. Concrete that we can able to see, hear, touch, taste and smell. For example, book, girl, computer, ice and floor. Next one, I have given a differentiation between countable and uncountable. Anything that can be countable. For example, clock, apple, student, chair and hotel. Here, uncountable. For example, milk, star, water and then sugar. So, these things that we cannot be able to uncountable. So, thank you. Thank you all for everything.